I'm not ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight. I'm gonna show you approach my last video of the night, to be honest. Uh, recap all the NFL want to do today. If you haven't watched those, go watch those. Recap the Warriors game. I did an MLB video. I did an NBA video. For the NBA, on my, my news videos for the NBA. And, uh, for the NBA and MLB. Over the last few days of that news. Um, all my recaps for today. Three NFL. I just uploaded Commanders. Uh, Giants people go watch that. Go watch that. Just want to get my final video of the night. So I'm going to get some wrestling. I'll probably do an NFL news video tomorrow. We'll see, but... First thing we'll talk about is, uh... Some more... A uh, story came out a few days ago. Uh, more about Sasha Banks, about... Pretty much why they didn't bring her back. We talked about... A few days ago. Like, how about... Oh, it's about, like... I have to go back and see... Why... So I can get... So... I don't know, it was like, I don't know, I'm trying to find it. That's what I recorded on a few days ago. I don't know. But, the only things we know is, um, Rose Gary, what he reported in the summer about Snowshaw Banks is pretty much released, that the thing was worked out in the summer, but people didn't believe him. Is now what I'm remembering from a few days ago that people didn't believe people all over Ross Gary shitting on him, but he basically re basically reported it at the time that pretty much Sasha Banks was late was released even though she was still listed on the roster. And now we have some more news about why they didn't bring her back. He didn't say why they didn't bring her back, but now we got the report as well as issues over pay. So it's issues over pay as well. Daddy B didn't bring Sasha Banks because they. Don't feel she'd be able to, to quote unquote, be on the top for the next five years, which <laughs> she's ridiculous. She's bigger than Becky Lynch, say Charlotte. She's bigger than them and doesn't get treated like it. The report states that the company higher ups also feel she's quote unquote past her peak as a star. <laughs> That's laughable. Anybody that watches wrestling. You can't tell me she's past her peak as a star. She's only 30. Charlotte's, oh, like, 30-something, near 40? Bianca is too, I think. Or somewhere between there. 30, probably 35, 40, somewhere between there. Charlotte Char is not past her peak as a star. She's younger than pretty much all the big ones. And she's a, the, the biggest star they had, the best in the ring. She's better than Bianca Belair in the ring. No offense to her, Bianca's good, just Sasha's much better, better than Charlotte, better than Biggie Lynch, she's bigger than all of them combined. You can't tell me she'd be, that she won't be able to be on top for the next five years. She easily could if she wanted to stay. And you can't tell me she's past her peak as a star. She'd be probably their biggest, maybe not their biggest star, but probably the best in the ring, one of their biggest stars. I know they got some good, talented uh, woman in NXT probably could come up. Roxanne Perez is really good. Really love her. Core Jade's good, pretty good, really great as well since she turned heel. But they won't be as good in the ring as Sasha. And I'm, I'm saying that right here, right now. And they're, they're probably the t my two favorites probably in NXT. Tiffany Stratton's really good as well. But they won't be as good as Sasha Banks in the ring. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, think, I find it hard to believe Triple H would let Sasha go. I found it really hard to believe that he would let her just let her go just at 30 years of age. Must have been Vince McMahon because I don't think it's a Triple H thing because he loves Sasha. I think it was a Vince McMahon thing back in the summer. They didn't view her as big a star as Charter Becky. I think it's a Vince McMahon thing. I don't think it's a Triple H thing. But yeah. Um, Goldberg, we had some news. Um, Goldberg, potentially, could come back, wrestle his, like, five matches a year, uh, a year or something. I didn't read the Fightful article, because I'm not paying for that. It's not what I'm saying, but I don't want to waste money. But, I don't want to see Goldberg come back, man. He should have been, he should have been finished a few years ago. Instead of getting squashed by the Fiend, sending him to retirement, he beat the Fiend. Um, his, his, his matches are just... 
spear jackhammer. Spear jackhammer. Because he can't go more than like a few minutes. He's, he's just washed at this point. Like, I don't know why they keep giving Goldberg matches, and I hope this isn't the case and he comes back. I hope he's done, and I hope he's finished. I'm tired of seeing Goldberg doing the same spear jackhammer every fucking match. And just gets a match, gets, gets a world title match just because, oh, I'm Goldberg. Like, hopefully Goldberg's not coming back. I don't want to see us see Goldberg come back. But, um, yeah, it's all safe to see you in the next Mac Peace.